A city imbued with the spirit of excitement and a stadium enveloped by anticipation. This has all the ingredients necessary for a tasty football recipe. And both sets of players are ready to throw everything into winning the game for their fans. A mouth-watering prospect awaits. It is Porto. They face Arsenal live right here on EA TV. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It's Porto up against Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Promising attack, this. That's a good-looking pass. A glorious chance. There it is. A delightful start to this match. Just what they were hoping for. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Ben White. It's with Erdogan. An encouraging Arsenal move. Martinelli. And back with Havertz. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Now sending it in. Clearing it away. Feeding it through. This could level it. And cleared away. And they need to get tighter. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Paremi. Ben White. Defence of Brazilians to shut them down. Mehdi Karami. Now, let's see what they can do here. And players waiting in the centre. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Being pressed hard. Gabriel. Alexander Zinchenko. It's with Gabriel. Martinelli. And Ketia has it. Martin Odegaard. Bukayo Saka. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Ben White. Top class defending. Eva Nilsson. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Can they open things up? And a very good challenge. So almost at half-time, and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do, though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Really committed himself to the tackle, and a throw-in now. Declan Rice. Alexander Zinchenko. Havertz. 
Really effective shielding under pressure. And promising stuff from Arsenal. Zinchenko. And this to level it. And it's gone in beyond the goalkeeper. Arsenal level. Well, here it is again. The little one-two starts it all off. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, one. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Mehdi Karami. Oh, danger here. Oh, surely. And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. And the referee, retrospectively, will go back and hand out the yellow card. He's driven in the corner. Could still be dangerous. And cleared off the line. Varela. Could cross it in here. Cutting the ball back. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. And there it is, the half-time whistle. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Kai Havertz. And return to Havertz. Martinelli. Rice. Shot blocked, but still alive. Will he finish? Looked like a certain goal, but that's a great challenge. Pepe. Joao Mario. Very quick thinking there. William Saliba. Really clever pressing. Well, the fans want to see a shot. Martinelli. Alexander Zinchenko. It's with Gabriel. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Short corner taken. Nicely timed tackle. Gabriel Jesus. And now with Havertz. Can he finish? Huge block. Martinelli. You can sense the threat is there. And there it is! But hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you.
There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes, and now both sides will make personnel switches. Porto recovering possession well. Mehdi Karami just moving back into that deeper position. Pepe showing real patience. Can they forge ahead? An alert piece of defending. Being pressed hard. Havertz. Just ten minutes remaining here. Martinelli. Arsenal remain on the front foot. Can they find a winning goal? Could be dangerous. Real chance. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. a dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider and well, it comes down to the final five minutes and a timely intervention the clock is against Arsenal but what can they pull out of the fire here just the clearance that was called for Mario we are going to have two additional minutes. Grujic. Mehdi Karami. Can he play it in? So full time it is. And a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Yeah, it's so vital to get off to a quick start in these group stages. They'll be happy with the three points, but now they have to back it up in the next game. Six points and you're halfway there. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.